All right, 624 <laughs> is our time, and you know what that means, Tom? What does it mean, Dave? It means it's time for today's newsmaker. Yeah. Hey, if you're a fan of the hit show Lego Masters on our sister station, Fox 66, you might recognize this guy coming up. That's right, and we're popping him up now. Uh, joining us now is Tim Kroll. Uh, he's a contestant on season two of Lego Masters, and he resides in Meadville. Tim, good morning to you, sir. Tim and his teammate, Zach, are one of 12 pair of Lego enthusiasts competing for the title of Lego Masters. Yeah. I would love to have that on my business card. No doubt. Also, the $100,000 <laughs> grand prize. I would love to have that in my bank account. Yes, no doubt. <laughs> Tim, good morning to you, sir. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Well, Tim, uh, for those uh, who might not know, uh, just tell us a little bit about Lego Masters. Uh, yeah. So Lego Master is a contest uh, contest between 12 different teams. We all build products or build uh, what is considered a mock. In the Lego world, a mock is called My Own Creation. And uh, so there's certain rules or certain timelines, but we all get to compete against each other. It's a great time. Uh, we have some fabulous contestants on this next or on this season here. So the first episode aired. Tonight's the next episode. We're really excited about it. I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, there's a lot of great construction that goes into these uh, these Lego toys. We have one on our, our set right here. That uh, did you just build this, or was this already? No, built? I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't get past the first section here for the most part. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, Lego toys was a lot of fun. Hey, I hear you're an Erie area native, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I grew up in Meadville. Uh, we lived. I've lived there many, many years. Probably 15, 20 years or so throughout my host high school years, and oh, did spent we a lot of time out driving back and forth. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, what's it like there, Tim? Uh, working with uh, being judged uh, by a big time actor like Will Arnett. <laughs> you know, obviously Will's funny. That's probably why he got the gig, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of interesting things. Um, I mean, I love Will to death, but sometimes when we're getting down to the wire, he'd show up and we're like, we've got to work on this. <laughs> so he's like, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. But yeah, it, it's um, it's a lot of fun in the aspect. He is a real down-to-earth kind of a guy. A lot of funny one-liners. Um, he was cracking us up on the set, obviously, throughout the entire uh, series and episodes. So it, it was a lot of fun. It's going to be an interesting show. Sure Tim, is. tell us about your build in tonight's episode. I can't tell you about oh, the whole Oh, come on. Can't come you give us a little taste? <laughs> Just a little. A little right, taste. So, uh, so what I'm allowed to tell you <laughs> is the fact that obviously everything's going to blow up. We've seen those on the promos. Um, as a builder, uh, it, it's kind of this bittersweet moment where you spend a whole lot of time in a creation, you're really proud of that creation, and then Will goes, okay, three, two, one, and he hits the button and it blows up, and you're like, no! So it's kind of like this bittersweet moment of, well, that was really, really cool, but I just spent all that time building that. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I can't tell you any more than that, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun tonight. No doubt. Hey, Tim, you know, what's really interesting as we kind of wind up here, they just showed a picture of a group, uh, a group shot there, and I see uh, people of all ages there. Yes. Uh, you know, we would think of this as all oh, a couple of teenagers and 20 somethings, uh, but you know, no. some of us, uh, shall we say, more mature folk uh, are also part of this uh, whole gig. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's what the beautiful thing about Lego is is the fact that it can it applies to everybody so there, there's phases and I, I i can best say this when i was uh my son is my partner zach is my partner so as he was younger seven eight nine we would go through what you would see in the store you would buy a set put all that together and that's what typically the younger children do and then as they get older especially in our ages about the 20s they start um, kind of coming back into it and we start to just be creative and we use the lego pieces to be able to build whatever comes to mind so we don't have instructions we don't have anything like uh, a set of instructions that you would follow step by step we just basically create this stuff out of our heads they give us some parameters hey go build something that looks like this and then we just go and build it so anybody that's over 20 is ready to rock and roll and can totally do this it's just a hobby i mean it's a lot of fun okay and catch episode two hero shot tonight on our sister station fox 66 at eight o'clock Tim Carroll, contestant of season two of Fox's Lego Master. Tim, thanks so much.
for joining us Thank this you. morning. I've got some Lego toys we're going to be playing with here, so no uh, we're going to have to let you go. We'll have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds Thank good. you, Tim.